the main attraction was the snowshoe factory angle. I thought that was so cool, you know, and it's so great that the building's not getting bulldozed. It may yet, <laughs> but uh, you keep trying, you know, you're getting there. These are well used benches. I mean, uh, you can only imagine the history of them. It's not like a piece of furniture that just spent 200 years sitting in the hallway of someone's home. This stuff was in, uh, if it was in a Grange Hall, and we knew it came, they came out of the Grange Hall, we don't know if they're original to that or not, but I bet they are. It, the, the timing, the age of, the, of these, which, you know, it's like the first half of the 19th century. It could be, any, just say, the middle of the 19th century. It could be, anyway, but some elements of it indicate a little bit earlier. And uh, this style, plank seat chairs, Windsor-type seating was very, very popular. And, you know, it was made for the people. These benches were in Grange Halls, churches, you know. They call the people that sat on these benches. You know, it's like amazing to think about. And they're still usable. Even before I'm doing the repair work, they are usable. But now they'll be great. It's just uh, neat to be a part of it, you know. I think that, in fact, that, that goes to your question. <clears throat> I, um, I like being a part of a history of a piece of furniture, you know. You see what people did before. I try to take care of it do the best I can, you know, these are good for another hundred years or so, <laughs> you know, it's cool. Wood is everything, the buildings, furniture, floors we work on, walk on, you know, everything is wood. My dad's shop was in Silver Spring, Maryland for uh, 80 years. He was a professional uh, cabinet maker uh, and furniture restorer antique restore, furniture repair, uh, anything to do with furniture. And um, so we literally grew up going to my dad's shop and all the boys in my family, when we turned 13, we could go start working at my dad's shop on like Saturdays and after school and stuff like that. And of course, growing up, you know, with my dad in the shop, it, it never occurred to us not to, but it's actually vitally important for people to work with their hands. Uh, it's, it's, you know, literally in our DNA, uh, our opposable thumbs, you know, that's everything right there. And it's so funny, people say, well, I, they try to differentiate between working with your hands and working with your head, you know, and it's like, it's really silly. People that work with their hands are doing both. You, you got to connect. It's all about connections and social connections. I'm making, I feel social connections with the people that made these and the people that used them. And then it goes on, even though we'll never know who they are. My oldest brother, my youngest brother, continually worked in furniture, uh, finishing business. Uh, but I, when I went to college, only for three semesters, I jumped out and then I went to work for, uh, in the construction industry, which I loved that too. I was working on big, big projects. In fact, I was working for Bechtel for a while on the Metro system, which was brand new being put into Washington, DC. And I loved it, it was great. But the better I did, the more I ended up in windowless conference rooms, you know, and, and I needed to be out in the field. I started my business in 79, so 44 years ago. Rented some space in an old mill building in Watertown, <clears throat> and I was subletting space in a, a floor that had other woodworkers in it, you know, so that really opened up a lot of work. There was a big upholstery shop on the first floor. I'm still working with those guys. Then when our daughter was born, that's when, you know, say, oh my God, okay, I, uh, I got to get serious about this, making money, I mean, you know, uh, can't screw around anymore, selling our labor, got to get paid. And, but that only forced us to up our game, up everything, do better work, better jobs. Yeah. Just kind of naturally happened. There's no big plan involved, that's for sure, you know? I wanted to let you know that uh, Jane got up this morning and looked out the window and said, this is a good day to make cookies. So we have cookies. <laughs>